Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the turbocharger from a 1KZ TE engine. These are found in a range of Toyota 4x4s. In this case I've got a Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. So I've already removed the air box and the piping that links the air box to the inlet of the turbocharger. So you need to remove these first. They're very straightforward to remove. There's just a few bolts that you undo. Next, I removed this pipe, which links the turbocharger to the intercooler. There's two bolts and two nuts on this, which um, I think use 10 mil, um, a 10 mil spanner will get those. And then a hose clamp here, which you need to remove to uh, take it off the turbo. There's a 12mm bolt at the front here and at the back corner there, which needs undone in order to remove the intercooler. So next we go around to the other side of the intercooler and we need to disconnect the boost pressure sensor, the air temperature sensor and these vacuum lines and then also take the hose clamp off and we can then remove the intercooler. Next, we need to remove the exhaust manifold from the head. It's secured by um, a number of 14 millimeter nuts on these studs and securing it to the turbo. And then there's two uh, 12 millimeter nuts at the back for the EGR, which need to be undone. So I'm struggling to get the exhaust manifold off because of the EGR pipe at the back. So what I'm going to do is remove the EGR pipe. And to do that, I will remove two bolts on the intake side, just at the back here. We also need to disconnect these two coolant hoses from the turbo. Here's a wee top tip, which I didn't do. Um, Drain your coolant first, because when you pull these hoses off, obviously, it all leaks on the floor. You'll also need to disconnect the transmission dipstick, which is here. Mine has already been disconnected. So the next stage is to disconnect the turbo from the downpipe. So to do this, we need to go underneath the car. So. Here we are under the car and you can see we need to disconnect these three nuts holding the exhaust onto the turbo. So I'm going to have to remove this section of the exhaust by undoing these two bolts. is to remove the oil return tube which 
you can just see in there. Wonderful. So, my finger is this tube here. There's two bolts securing that onto the block. So we need to reach in and remove those. We need to remove this pipe here as it gets in the way when we need to lift the turbo up and out. So with that pipe out of the way, we can now access this um, oil feed line and undo the banjo bolt so that we can finally lift the turbo out. Okay, now everything's disconnected, we can simply lift the turbo up and out.